currently happening? We're currently in the process of uh, attacking the fire with high expansion foam, which is a specialised foam designed for specifically for this type of incident. We'll know the results of that in the next half an hour to an hour, and then we can reassess the situation. And why is that technique being used? The, f the fuel that's being used is a dry fuel uh, and the storage containers are designed to hold dry fuel. Once you apply water to that, it increases in weight substantially and that could impact on the structural integrity of the building. And how, what are the conditions like in there? I mean, the, our crews have done a fantastic job, extremely punishing conditions, very, very hot, very, very dry. It's a long way up, so very, a lot of physical effort and they've done a fantastic job. And so how dangerous is that for the firefighters? Potentially a very dangerous incident, which is why we took our time to make sure that we got everything in place and everything right before we launched an attack. And um, for people living nearby, is there any danger to them? No, there's no danger to the nearby residents. There's a possibility the smoke may drift across their houses. If that does, we'll simply say close your doors. The smoke is really like a nasty bonfire. If it gets particularly bad, then I suggest people stay inside. And we were told this morning that there are around 100 firefighters in there. Is that still the case? No, we, we had 120 plus at one point. We've scaled that down now and there's around about 80 firefighters there now. And is it under control now? Or? I would say it's more under control than it was this morning. We'll await the outcome of our specialist foam attack to determine whether it's under control. Okay. And at this stage, is there any idea as to what may have caused the fire or anything like that? No, obviously we'll carry out a thorough investigation. It's a limited number of causes in this instance, but I wouldn't like to speculate until we've got people in there to actually get their hands on it and have a look. And how long are you expecting to be on site here for? That depends on the success of our tactic. If it's successful, I would expect maybe 24 to 48 hours. And is this something that you're kind of used to attacking? Does this happen very often? No, this is only the second time in my career, which is 24 years. I mean, this is the world's largest biofuel power station, and it's certainly the first biofuel power station fire that I've been to. Very rare. And is there any kind of special challenges with biofuel? It doesn't pose any special challenges. With all power station fires, it's the nature of the building that's the challenge. They're usually very big, the fires are usually very high up, and it's usually very, very hot.